What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode two of Gear Stories with Brad Abbott. Last month's episode was called Brad Abbott Talks Gear, but that name is stupid, so we're changing it. This one's about the Bedell TB-17G. Let's get right into it. Well, to start this story off properly, we need to put down the Bedell. This is a great divide guitar. Years ago, I was walking through Guitar Center with a friend, and I spotted this, and it was really affordable. I'm talking like under 200 bucks. So I picked it up and I played it, and I was really amazed by it, especially for the price tag. It sounds really good, it plays really good, and honestly, it doesn't look bad. Well, it it didn't look bad at the time since then i've put it through hell it's a little rough around the edges now but this guitar is for another video so after buying the great divide and bringing it home and playing it for a few hours i took a look around it and i noticed that there was a breed love logo inside of the sound hole and i found that kind of curious so i started doing some research and i found out about great divides parent company two old hippies which is owned by tom bedell Two Old Hippies acquired Breedlove in 2010 and now owns them. They also make Bedell guitars and they made Great Divide guitars that are now discontinued. After seeing what the Great Divide could go through and still continue to play well and sound good, I decided to see what the higher end of Two Old Hippies had to offer and that led me to shop around for a Bedell guitar. I saw this on a website that I routinely scour for used pieces. When I saw the specs, I knew that I had to grab it to try and use it for my upcoming album. Now, this guitar is appointed quite nicely and it's in nearly perfect condition and it's also straight acoustic. This guitar does not have a pickup system, so it's not easily plugged in to a PA system for a show. And for those two reasons, I don't use this guitar live. It stays here in my studio. That being said, this guitar does get its fair amount of play. It has been featured on at least six of the tracks for the new album, and it is the only guitar that you can hear on the new recording of Next To You, which I've included a link to in the description, and you can click up here in the video as well. Bedell guitars are also played by Guster, which is my all-time favorite band, and that is another thing that aided the decision of picking a Bedell guitar. Guster, as a band, is actually incredibly environmentally conscious, and that's one of the things that draws them to Bedell Guitars. Tom Bedell does a lot for sustainable forestry, much like Taylor does. These guitars are made out of reclaimed wood. A lot of them are made out of trees that have already fallen, and they are built with sustainability in mind, and that is something that I find really attractive about these guitars. So now that you know why I decided to pick up the Bedell and a little bit of the story behind it, let's go ahead and get into the specifications that I found so neat that made me pick this guitar up for the new album. To start off, we see a solid Canadian red cedar top. It's got a beautiful rosette around the sound hole. And something that provides a really nice contrast is this pitch black ebony bridge. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. The fingerboard, to match the bridge, is also ebony. It has this, what looks like mother of pearl binding going all the way up and down the fingerboard. There are maple dot inlays. Then as you get up to the headstock, you can see that there is a maple inlay that surrounds the entire headstock. And you see the Bedell Peace logo there. It is finished off with gold Grover tuners that hold tune incredibly well. Turning over to the back and sides, we are made out of a solid sapelle that is bound with a breathtaking maple. And the neck looks to be mahogany. And going up to the top, you can actually see the Bedell name again on the top of the headstock on the back, which is something you don't see too often in today's guitars. They really did an excellent job appointing this guitar and making it look like a, uh, a very high-end instrument, 
even though they were fairly affordable when they came out and even more so affordable when you buy them used. This particular Bedell is incredibly hard to find. There are a lot of either TB16s or TB18s. It's one of those numbers, I'm not sure. Those are the Sitka Spruce topped model of this guitar, but the TB17G is actually incredibly hard to find, so when I saw this, I jumped on it. And for whatever reason on Bedell's website, I can't find any listing for this guitar. I actually had to call Bedell and give them the serial number just to make sure it was legitimate. It is. Well, I've talked about it for a minute, so now I'd like to let the guitar speak for itself. So let's go ahead and start off these demos with some soft finger picking. Here's one of my songs that I actually used this guitar to record. This is called Next to You. Here is a light strumming line that I do to open up some shows. This is called Blue Sky. To go even harder still, I don't even really know what I call this, but it's the intro riff to this series. And for a little lead guitar action, here is the solo that I did for One Headlight. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what Bedell is all about and how they sound. I've played a handful of these and none of them have disappointed me. They all look gorgeous and they play even better. So if you're out and about and you see a Bedell, pick it up, give it a shot. It is so worth it, man. They are awesome. So thank you so much for checking out the video. Next month, we're gonna do it on the great divide that led me into purchasing this guitar. So be sure to click subscribe so you can see that. You can also follow me at bradabbottmusic.com. There's a mailing list and I'm on all forms of social media at Brad Abbott Music. Thank you again for being here. We'll talk to you soon.